Mastering Conflict Resolution, Effective Communication Strategies. Hello, English learners. Today, we're going to dive deep into a very important topic, conflict resolution. In email and letter writing, it's often necessary to handle conflicts in a mature and effective way. Today, we'll discuss various strategies that can help us to achieve this. Remember, the way we communicate can make a huge difference in resolving conflicts. Conflicts can arise from misunderstandings, miscommunications, or simply having different perspectives. So, the first step to resolving conflicts is to understand the nature of the conflict. Is it due to a misunderstanding? Or is it because of differing viewpoints? Understanding the cause can guide us on the path to resolution. One effective communication strategy is the use of I statements. These are statements that focus on your own feelings and perceptions, rather than blaming or criticizing the other person. Instead of saying, you didn't meet the deadline, try saying, I felt stressed when the deadline wasn't met. This kind of approach can help to avoid escalating the conflict. Active listening is another crucial strategy in conflict resolution. This involves not just hearing the words of the other person, but also understanding their point of view and feelings. Use phrases like, what I hear you saying is, to show that you are genuinely listening and interested in their perspective. Finally, it's essential to find a common ground. Look for areas where you both agree, or at least understand where the other person is coming from. You can say things like, I understand that you feel strongly about this. I also believe that finding common ground can help both parties feel heard and respected. Conflict resolution is not always easy, but by using these effective communication strategies, we can navigate our way through disagreements and misunderstandings. I hope these strategies will be useful for you in your English writing and in your everyday life as well. Thanks for watching, and remember, communication is key. That's it for today's video, folks. I hope you found it helpful. Keep practicing your English, and I'll see you in the next video.